hotties, welcome to this long overdue makeup tutorial for Todoroki from My Hero Academia. To start, I'm just doing my usual base foundation and concealer, and for lack of a better term, putting it all over my face. Can you guys tell that I'm not a makeup artist yet? Do I know what I'm doing when it comes to baking? Do I even really know what baking is? Nope, but I'm putting this stuff on my face and letting it sit. All right, brush the excess off. And we're on to contour. I'm just really doing some basic contour here. If you want a more masculine look, try out male contour videos or something, but for me, this basic stuff works out. I like to contour my cheeks, temples, jawline, and nose. To make my nose look a little more anime, I'm taking some eyeshadow and contouring the sides up to my brow bone to make it look a little thinner and longer. I also go in with the same color under my brows to give the illusion that I might have a more masculine brow bone. I fucked up some of my foundation here, so I'm fixing it, whoops. And now we blend this bitch out. But I overblended my nose, so I'm going in with a darker shade of eyeshadow to once again define my schnoz. With that same color, I'm adding a little more definition to my jawline and blending all over again. This is your daily reminder to hydrate your lips. Moving on to the red half, it's time to give yourself a burn. While this could be achieved by pouring hot water on your face, I really wouldn't recommend it. So instead, I'm starting with an orangey red tone eyeshadow and just slapping that color on there. From here, I just keep applying this color until I feel like I have the desired burn shape that looks suspiciously like a Zuko cosplay. You could totally add liquid latex before getting into this part, but honestly, I'm too lazy for that, and I don't like the way it flakes off, so screw it. Now dust with a slightly darker red eyeshadow to give it a little more dimension. Honestly, the palette you need for this is 50 shades of red. With yet another shade of red, pretend like you're doing normal eye makeup so it doesn't look quite so weird next to your other eye. For the red brow, I'm going in with the same darkest red color I use on my eye and just brushing it over my natural brows. If you have a darker brow, you could conceal them and then do this step or shave them off and join the cosplayers with no brows club that I joined during quarantine. The choice is yours. You can see here that I'm not even following my natural brow shape, but instead doing angy anime brows. And I'm not bothering to conceal the ends because the wig will cover it later anyway. And now I know you really want to get onto the white half of this Canadian flag, but first... Huge shout out to today's sponsor, Boxu, and they have sent me a snack box from Japan. Boxu is this amazing company that sends a Japanese snack box straight to your door, and they have partnered with a bunch of snack makers, some of which are over 100 years old, to bring these snacks to us so that we can try them out. So it's really cool. You get a different box every single month. So there's different snacks that you can try and they have different themes, which are really cute. This month's theme that I have here is Seasons of Japan. In each box, you get a hand-picked assortment of authentic snacks and candies and a tea pairing curated around the theme of the month. They also give you a cultural guide that tells you where each of the items are from. That's really cool because I love to see where things originated from or where they're made. It also includes ingredients and common allergens, which is really great, especially with foreign snacks, uh, if you have a lot of allergies. My personal favorite snack is this one. I think it's just super tasty and fun. I also really like the tea. I'm just a big tea fan. <laughs> the boxes ship monthly from Japan, so you get something new to try each month. If you want to try out some of these snacks for yourself, you can get 10% off of your own authentic Japanese snack box from Boxu and save up to $47 using my code SPOTTY10 and the link in the description box. This also helps support my channel. Okay, now back to half and half boy. To start the white half, go in with some light neutral shades in roughly the same manner that you did with the red eye. I went in with a light shimmer shade on the inner corner of this eye, so I'm adding it to the other half, too, to add a little balance to the force. Then, with a little darker neutral shade, I'm giving the eyeshadow a winged look to mimic the burn scar going up and away, and bringing that into the crease as well. Now, for the white brow, I'm going over my natural brow again, but this time with white eyeliner. This product works well on natural dark eyebrows as well, from what friends have told me, and you could always do a base of the white with color on top as another option for crazy colored anime brows that doesn't involve gluing them down. With some concealer, I'm going in to fix what I didn't conceal well earlier and going around the scar to give it slightly cleaner edges. Instead of eyeliner, I'm using a black eyeshadow to create small wings. 
Because of the contrast and color already going on, I prefer to use something like this instead of eyeliner because it comes off a little more subtly to the eye, especially on the white half where a true black can look a little harsh for me. With dark brown or highlighter for another option, bring the eyeliner look to the corner of the eyes. Add a little shine to this dull boy with some highlighter, nothing like a good highlight to make your father even angrier at you. Add a wig cap and a wig, and after brushing and tediously pinning it, grab an Elmer's glue stick or some eyelash glue and stick down the bits on the side of your face if they don't like to stay down. Pin a little more and give your hair a nice pat. And there you have it. You're ready to be an angsty teen boy at a hero school. I hope this tutorial helped you in some way or inspired you to try some new things with your makeup. If you want to see more of my content, I live stream every week in cosplay on Twitch. Huge shout out to my lovely supporters on Patreon and Twitch. You guys are the bomb. <laughs> Here's a moody boy.